Hi, welcome back everybody. This will be a short video today since I head over to the Oktoberfest. Actually, it's not the Oktoberfest in Munich, but the Oktoberfest in Vienna. Nevertheless, it's a very nice one here as well. Since some of you guys asked me in the last video how to run a mock server for an ODATA 4 service, I will cover this in this video. However, I will not just cover how to run the mock server, but I will also show you how to run the mock server with real data from a real ODATA 4 service. So if you like this content, please consider giving a like and subscribe so you guys can keep up to date with all of our videos. Now without further ado, let's get to it! Alright, I've opened already the Business Application Studio, BAS, and the project that we built in the last video. Let's build a SAP UI5 freestyle app for an ODATA 4 service. Back then we started the project with npm start. This opened a new browser window and loaded the videos from the remote ODATA 4 service that we created in the ABAP environment. We built this ODATA 4 service in the video Let's Code ABAP with the RESTful application programming model. Now how can we run our freestyle app with a mock server? For this purpose we stop the app and then we open the package.json file here in the project. And here we can see under dev dependencies that we have installed the UI5 middleware FE mock server. If it's not available in your project, then you can install it with npm install. Then we scroll down and we can see here all the npm commands that are available in our project. Here you find the start command that we previously ran with npm start, but you also can find the command start mock here. Therefore, you can run the mock server for your project with npm run start mock. This command will start your project with a configuration that is stored here in this UI5 mock.yaml file. You can find this file in the root directory of your project here on the left hand side UI5 mock.yaml. And if you scroll down here, you can see that the SAP FE mock server is located here and that it runs right before the proxy server middleware. In order to mock the service, it uses the metadata stored in this file here. We can find this metadata XML file in the directory web app local service metadata XML. In this file, the mock server nearly finds all the information that it needs to mock the ODATA 4 service, meaning to run your project without access to the actual service. So for example, in our case, you find the entity set set C video here, that is of entity type set C video type, and it contains these properties, for example, thumbnail, title, and URL and description, along with its data types. So now let's try to run the mock server. In our terminal window, we type npm run start mock. And then we hit enter. This starts our mock server under this URL, localhost port 8080. We click on it. This opens our web app directory in a browser and we can find the index.html file here. We click on it. This opens our app in the browser again. However, this time you can see that we do not have any real data here. So instead of the real videos, we just can see dummy entries like title 0, title 1, title 2, title 3 and so on, or description 1, description 2 and so on, which indeed have the real data types, but not the real data. So what can we do to run the mock server with real data? Well, to understand this, we first have to open the UI5 mock.yaml file here again. 
And here under the SAP FE mock server entry, you find uh, the mock data path. And this path is actually the path where you can store the data. So you can find this data directory, the mock data path, here on the left hand side under web app local service. And here you find this data directory. Actually, I've created this data directory manually, so it's probably not available in your case. So simply create a new directory data under local service here. And here in this data directory, you can create a new file named with the same name as the entity set in your project or the entity sets in your project that you want to request with this mock server. In our case, it is ZC video dot and then you type JSON since this is a JSON file. Now, how can you get your JSON data from your backend service? Since we developed our backend service with ABAP and Eclipse, we open the Eclipse browser again and navigate to our project. I move the screen here so that you can see the ABAP project again. And here in our Z-Video project, we find the business services with the service definitions. And here you find the service definition for our OData4 service. If you open the service binding, you can see the, you can find the service URL here on the right hand side of the OData4 service that we published back then. Now you can simply click on this service URL. This is a hyperlink here. And this opens a browser window that displays the JSON data of your OData service in a browser. You can activate pretty print here uh, in Chrome, for example, to see it better. Here you can find your exposed entity sets. In our case, it is ZC video here. We copy the string ZC video here. Then we go to the browser URL here and we remove the query parameters here. And we add ZC video at the end of the URL. Then we hit enter. Again, I activate pretty print here so that we can see it better. And here you can see the JSON string of an entity set of your OData4 service. But please note, the data that we need in the business application studio here in our JSON file is not the whole string that you've seen here in the browser. Instead, we just need the content of the value property here which is a JSON array. Therefore, we mark just the JSON array here and its content. And we copy this JSON array into our business application studio into the Z video JSON file that we previously created. So once again, since this is important, this is just the JSON array, which we copy here into the ZC video JSON file, and not the whole JSON string that we've seen here in the browser. It is just the content of the value property. Now back in the business application studio, we can stop the mock server, which is currently still running. And then we start it again with npm run start mock. This opens a new browser window and it displays all the YouTube videos of our OData4 service. But this time the YouTube's videos do not come from the OData4 service directly, but from our local zc underscore video.json file from our mock server. So that's basically all I wanted to show you today. If you like this content and you found it useful, please click the like button, the subscribe button, and also notification bell below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.